We decided to get a dog when we bought this home because it had a doggy door and he's just been amazing. But for him to save our lives like that, um, it's just, I mean, he's just, he's family. And it's unusual for a horse to take another horse's baby, but that's exactly what happened. She took her baby and now they are mother and daughter. The dogs bring out the best in people. They like to see their little tails wagging as they're going. They, they like to see uh, the concentration on their faces. Here at Stitch, we celebrate the ways everyday people and pets are making this country a kinder place to live, one incredible story at a time. Pets are so cute and lovable, it's easy to forget that they're also capable of incredible things. Here are stories of phenomenal animals changing the way people see the world. This dog really lived up to the title of man's best friend after saving his owner's lives. It's like a war zone, you know, it's like something I've see on TV from um, hurricane damage. Jason's home was destroyed by a fire, but there was one saving grace. He and the two others who lived in the home made it out safely. Jason said they have their dog Turbo to thank for that. Our dog just started barking and he doesn't bark a lot. I mean, if he does, it's usually a cat outside or something, but he doesn't go on and on like he was. And my wife had said that she had heard something and she thought I was up in the closet, but I think it was actually, you know, the window burning and popping and whatnot. After the fire, people from the community began offering their support. My wife's um, people from her employers um, with the uh, Savannah Chatham County Schools, they came and they set up a, a GoFundMe page. Um, her, some of her coworkers showed up. If there's anything we can do to, whether it's get them a drink, give them a shower, anything. They've, and the whole neighborhood's come together to, to help out. Becoming a first time dog dad was even more life changing than Jason could have imagined. We've never been dog owners before and we decided to get a dog when we bought this home because it had a doggy door and he's just been amazing. But for him to save our lives like that, um, it's just, I mean, he's just, he's family. Cats famously aren't the most active creatures, but this formidable feline is proving to be quite the mountain climber. It was crazy, the emotions I was feeling. There were so many of them. Floki the rescue cat is one fearless feline, summiting all 48 of New Hampshire's tallest peaks. Her owner, Mel, started the Adventures with Floki Facebook page. She documented Floki visiting the four dozen 4,000 foot mountains in the state. Mel said being with Floki as the cat crossed the finish line was emotional. I had already gotten my 48 back in March and then to continue on and get hers and just knowing how many people had reached out to us and all of the people that had wished us luck. They hit all 48 within nine months, developing a strong online following along the way. Floki's adventures aren't over either. There's a lot of people that are like, oh my gosh, please tell me that's not it. Like, what are you gonna do next? Please keep posting. We love following your adventures. And I'm like, oh no, we're still gonna be out there. The pair have set their sights on conquering what are called the 52 with a view next. A dog walker turned viral star discovered that pets don't even have to be yours to change your life. It started to get a lot of attention and uh, it just took off from there. Steven's long tenure as a dog walker has given him a lot of content for his Instagram account, The Pie Dog Walker. He'd earned a few thousand followers with the pics he took while making the rounds with the pups. Tired dogs make good dog models, so they'll sit still. They like to take a break on the way home and we get the pictures then. But it wasn't his page that first made him a viral star. A photo of Steven was noticed by We Write Dogs, which has two million followers. I thought we'd finally made it when uh, we'd finally arrived when we made it with We Write Dogs and they got a 14 out of 10 rating, so we're proud. From there, his own profile got a massive boost. He also posted the photo on his own account, writing, we took a wrong turn on Charles Street and now we're living in a meme. The dogs bring out the best in people. They like to see their little tails wagging as they're going. They, they like to see uh, the concentration on their faces. This pooch isn't just her owner's fur baby. She's also his business partner. This is Sushi, getting outdoors, enjoying the sunshine, 
being with sushi, waving to the neighbors. It's a great time. For Chris, starting Buffalo Brew Coffee meant getting to spend all day with his pug, Sushi. The business was a pandemic-driven career change, an idea born in his basement, and it quickly took off. So you can hear the popping starting to happen. With a roaster that can generate 60 pounds of coffee an hour, all that's left is to bag it up and hit the road. Chris delivers the orders on his bike with Sushi in tow. One less car on the road is a good thing. Sushi's nearly 11 years old. Because she's blind and has trouble moving her back legs, bringing her along gets her outside. Not to mention that the customers love her. With her little helmet and goggles, who wouldn't? They'll want photos and selfies with Sushi. Um, they want to pet her and Sushi eats up all of it. Chris doesn't plan to make bike deliveries forever. But while he is, Sushi is helping bring in business. We're coffee lovers and the fact that it's local, um, we love to support, support local businesses as well. So kind of checked a couple boxes for us there. The fact that they have a dog now checks another box because we're dog lovers as well. In the wake of twin tragedies, a motherless foal and a horse that lost her baby forged a beautiful new bond. There's this little brown and black baby laying in the hay and it was perfect and she looked like a little possum. That's what Kate named the foal, Possum. She was born to Kate's horse, Granny, at Hidden Pasture Unicorn Farm. Unfortunately, Granny soon developed colic and died. We were really sad because we love Granny. For a week, Kate nursed Possum like a baby, which she said wasn't an ideal situation. She's been doing well, but it's been sad to think of a baby horse being raised by a person because you want a baby horse to have a, a mother horse. One of the other horses, Pippi, delivered a foal who didn't survive. So we had Pippi in one stall with no baby and a baby in the other stall with no mother. So we did what's called grafting, which is where you take the placenta and you lay it over the baby and you present it to the mother horse. We didn't even need to do that with Pippi. Possum and Pippi immediately bonded which Kate said is pretty special. It's unusual for a horse to take another horse's baby, but that's exactly what happened. She took her baby and now they are mother and daughter. From one story of resilience to another, a puppy cruelly thrown from a moving vehicle got a second shot at life. Rescue is not for the faint of heart. This is Ryder, a puppy proving to be as strong as he is adorable. He was tossed out of a moving car and abandoned there. This guy, she called me. I made a post immediately. Everything was taken care of by our community. Lorianne of Loveless Dog Rescue works with a local animal hospital to help save puppies. He's special. Yes, he is. He is. He's got a reason to be here on Earth. When she took Ryder in, three of his legs were broken and they had to operate. Surgery was good. We pinned his femur. It was the left femur was broken. And, uh, and then I just blend it the, the tibia fractures. They're very resilient at this age. You know, he's six weeks old, so he'll heal fast. Even before Ryder was all healed up, he already had a new forever family waiting for him. Their new family is phenomenal. I just, I'm so glad he gets to stay here because Kalira really came together for this baby. In our last story, a pair of hunting dogs learned how to fish from an unconventional source, dolphins. They're very calm in the car all the way here. But that changes after we get out the car. Captain Brand developed a special routine with his two Gordon setters, Buster and Boo. He started driving them out to the beach where nine-year-old Buster and five-year-old Boo learned to fish. This comes natural for them to fish and hunt. It's part of playtime, it's, it's their job. They just do their regular routine, wanting to swim with dolphins, catch fish, and chase pigeons. The dogs love it so much, they go fishing in their sleep. Oh yes, they dream about it. They run in their sleep and, and talk in their sleep. Except the captain's not the one who taught them how to fish. It was a combination of intuition and, if you can believe it, dolphins. 
their natural instinct was very strong. When they're in the hunt mode, nothing else exists except me and what they're hunting. They can care less about anything else. The dolphins are aware of everything around them. If the dolphins are flipping the bait fish up on shore to eat, they'll jump right in there with them. Either they're helping them out or they want to get bait or just play with the dolphins. All three kind of goes together. Captain Williams said that while the dolphins can move more quickly in the water, they've become solid fisher dogs. And the tidal pool and the red fish are at the surface. If they see them, they'll jump in there and catch them. He's caught several red fish. He's caught flounder. She's learning. She's still puppy, but she's learning. Buster and Boo listen for the dolphins, figuring out the direction they're heading and go after them. They've got them figured out pretty good. As far as they go, they just jump in there and want to play. They know they can't do anything with them, I, I, I believe that. The captain said it's been good for him as well, since he gets in about 12 to 14,000 steps during their two-hour beach routine. They are great companions. They're very smart, understanding, very close relationship, very hands-on with them, and they're very affectionate. Oh, I'm crazy over these dogs. We hope you enjoyed these stories of extraordinary pets. Thanks for watching Stitch.